So what will be the day after 123 days if today is Sunday? Is there any better way than counting by hand? In case you didn't notice, the days of the week repeat, meaning if you start on Sunday, after seven days, you will end up on Sunday, kind of like a clock. Like if you start at one o'clock, after 12 hours, you will return at one. After 24 hours, you will return at one again. After 25 hours, you will return at two o'clock. And after 26, you will return at three o'clock. Did you notice something? 24 was zero hours apart from one, 25 was one hour apart from one, and 26 was two hours apart from one. There are 12 hours in a clock. And if you divide 24 by 12, you get a remainder of zero, you get a remainder of one for 25, and two for 26. Is this related? Well, yes. You see, when the hour hand made a full rotation, it just adds 12 hours to the total hours. And since it is just adding 12, 12 must evenly divide the number. And if you rotate more or less than 12, 12 can't evenly divide it. And this is what we call a remainder. For example, if a clock moves 13 steps, 13 hours, so our total hours would be 13. We can write it like 12 plus one. Now 12 evenly divides 12, but not one. So one is the remainder. So our clock must rotate one step more from the starting point. For 26, we can write it like 12 plus 12 plus two. 12 certainly divides the first two 12, but doesn't divide two. So it moved two steps. Now we can do similar things with seven days of the week. We can build our week clock. And since there are seven steps on this clock, we know it will return to the starting date after seven days. This implies the remainder after dividing by seven must be the day when it returns. So after dividing by seven, we got a remainder of four. So if we start on Sunday after 123, it will be Thursday. There's actually an entire branch in mathematics called modular arithmetic, which we use not only to find days, but to secure messages, emails, and banking. Hope you find this interesting.